All right, so if you're actually good in basic math, well, this should be an easy problem to do without using a calculator. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. We have 8 cubed divided by 8 squared times 8. Now, we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 1, B is 16, C is 32, and D is 64. All right, so once again, we have 8 cubed divided by 8 squared times 8. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is D, which is 64. Okay, now, if you got this right, we well, definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I can't believe I got this wrong. Can you teach me what's going on here? Well, I definitely can. Okay, now, the first thing that we want to notice here is that we have a great opportunity because this is a math multiple choice question. Now, for those of you that still have to pass math exams, and you might be saying, hey, that's me, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, there's a big difference between doing this problem all by itself and doing this problem with these answers. Because if you don't know how to do the actual math, just take a guess. You have a one out of four chance of getting the right answer. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, let's see here. I have all these eights. Maybe the answer has something to do with eight. So eight times two is 16. 8 times 4 is 32, and 8 times 8 is 64. Now, of course, the correct answer is D, 64, but a lot of you uh, probably got the answer of 1. Now, 1 is actually a very logical answer, but uh, it is wrong. Now, if you got this answer, I'm happy that you found this video because you are making a very common math mistake. All right, so let's see how you get to 1 as an answer. Okay, so 8 to the third power, or 8 cubed, means what? Well, that's 8 times 8 times 8. Now, we're going to divide that by, now, I'm not, I'm not going to do this math here. Let's just leave it like this, 8 cubed. Now, here I have 8 squared. So, 8 squared is what? That's 8 times 8 times another 8. So, this is like 8 cubed divided by itself. So, anything divided by itself, of course, is 1. So, if you got 1 as your answer, well, I'm happy that you found this video because you are making a very common math mistake, and that math mistake has uh, something to do with the order of operations. All right, so anytime you have a math problem and it has more than one math operation, now in mathematics, a mathematical operation is things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even powers. So when you have more than one operation in a problem, well, you have to follow the proper order of operations. Okay, now PEMDAS is an acronym, but basically it's a checklist that we go from left to right to figure out the proper order of operations in a problem. Okay, so what do these letters stand for? Well, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. All right, so if your math problem has any parentheses or other grouping symbols like brackets like this, this is where you're going to start. Now, if you happen to have parentheses and then uh, brackets like so, and then maybe other brackets, what you're going to do is always start from the innermost parentheses and work your way out. But uh, not every math problem will have parentheses, so you move on uh, to the next thing on your checklist, and that is E, and that stands for exponents. But uh, you can think of that as power. So like two to the third power, this little three here is the exponent. This two is the base, of course, two to the third power means two times two times two. All right, so once again, not every math problem will have exponents, so you just continue to work this checklist. Now let's take a look at this problem here real quick, uh, 10 divided by two times five. All right, so what is the correct answer without using a calculator? Of course, you have the order of operations right here. So if you're like, hey, Mr. T2 Math Man, this is easy. The answer is one. Well, unfortunately, you are wrong. Now, some of you might be saying, what are you talking about, Mr. T2 Math Man? I'm looking at your checklist. The next thing to do is multiplication. So uh, you would do uh, 2 times 5, which, of course, is 10. So you have 10 divided by 10, which would be 1. Well, that's wrong. Now, why is that wrong? Well, this is a very common mistake, and uh, for those of you that got one as your answer. I'm going to show you why right now. Okay, so here, the next thing on this checklist is really multiplication or division, okay? So if you have a problem that has both uh, multiplication and division in it, you do whatever you see first from left to right. So 10 divided by uh, 2 times 5, 
Here we have multiplication and division. What do we see first from left to right? We see division. So we have to do this. 10 uh, divided by 2 is 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. 25 is the correct answer. All right, so addition and subtraction work the same way. It's whatever you see first from left to right. All right, so that is the proper order of operations. So now let's go ahead and apply that to solve the problem. Okay, so here we have 8 cubed divided by 8 squared times 8. So do we have any parentheses? No. Do we have any exponents or powers? Well, of course we do. So we have these and these. So that's where we need to start. Okay, so some of you might be saying, all right, Mr. Two to Math Man, I can't use a calculator, so I got to figure out what 8 times 8 times 8 is. So 64 times 8 is 512. Now, I'm not going to do the math, but to hopefully you understand that the correct answer is 512. Now, 8 squared is 8 times 8, which, of course, is 64. So there's nothing wrong in taking this as your first step. But uh, this is not necessary, okay? So... This might confuse a lot of you, but we don't um, actually have to evaluate these powers, right? Kind of stumbling on my words here. But as long as we know that 8 cubed is equivalent to 512 and 8 squared is equivalent to 64, whether we have the, uh, these numbers like so or these numbers expressed as powers doesn't make a difference in this particular problem. Okay, what does make a difference is whether we do multiplication or division first. All right, so here is a better way to kind of approach this problem. So again, we're not using our calculator. So we could just kind of leave our numbers expressed as power. So we have 8 cubed divided by 8 squared. So we have to do division before multiplication because that's what we see first from left to right. So I'm going to focus in on uh, thinking about the problem in this manner right here. So we have 8 cubed divided by 8 squared. So what does that mean? Well, this can be expressed as a fraction. So 8 cubed divided by 8 squared is the same thing as this right here. Okay, so as long as we understand that we can write 8 cubed divided by 8 squared as a fraction, where 8 cubed is a numerator and 8 squared is the denominator, well, we can write this problem in this way, 8 cubed over 8 squared times 8. All right, so this is going to make our life much easier because now what we can do is simply factor 8 cubed. So 8 cubed is the same thing as 8 times 8 times 8. 8 squared is the same thing as 8 times 8. Of course, this is being multiplied by 8. All right, so here is the problem that I'm going to be doing in just one second. And really, we're pretty much done. Again, we're doing this without a calculator. But uh, let's go to take the next step, which, of course, is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, my goal on YouTube is to try to help as many people as possible in math. And when you hit that subscribe button, it really does help me out on YouTube to reach that goal. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every one of my courses, you're going to get a full comprehensive lesson on every topic. I also cover thousands of problems with full video solutions. Also, I have a ton of worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for test, and even printable, downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great and easy way to learn math, well, then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so let's just do a quick review before we finish up this problem. So here is the original problem. Of course, we have multiplication and division and power. So we need to be thinking about the order of operations or PEMDAS. Now, there is no parentheses, but we do have exponents. But to, as I indicated, it's not critical to turn these powers and exponents into actual numbers. The real critical part here is to recognize that we have two operations, division and multiplication. And we have to do the division first because that's what, uh, that's what we see first from left to right. Okay, so as long as we can understand that this is 8 cubed divided by 8 squared, we have to figure out this times 8 will be okay. All right, so this is 8 cubed uh, expressed as its factor. So 8 times 8 times 8 is 8 cubed divided by 8 squared or 8 times 8. All right, so we have all this times 8. So now this is very easy to figure out without a calculator. All right, so all we have to do is cross cancel these 8s. So we have like factors, right? So 8 uh, this 8 up in the numerator can cross cancel with this 8. This 8 can cross cancel with this 8. So we're left with 8 times 8. Of course, 8 times 8 is 64. 
Okay, so hopefully this wasn't that difficult of a problem. But uh, if you need additional help with basic math, things like the order of operations, check out these courses here. I'm going to leave links to them in the description of this video. So my first course is my Math Foundations course. This is a quick review of basic math. If you need to review basic math, algebra, geometry, and other stuff, well then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course or maybe even my pre-algebra course. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.